All right, here we go, back into Planet Coaster yet again. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome. It's good to have you here. We're loading into our big old crazy map. I did a little experiment last night because I couldn't stay away from the game on the monorail. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, load that quick save. Good to have you all here. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to have Groot on here and Tanner. Hi, everyone. Hello, uh, B, B. Ken and Gage. Good to see you all here. Hi, everyone. Hello, chat. I hope we're all doing really well today for some big old crazy planet coaster. Ah, I love this game. All right, let's initiate dank cool mode. A little bit later today, I'm going to be playing some city skylines, so that should be pretty cool. What's up, Joshua? What's up, cool boy? All right, so um, I was goofing around with the monorail to see exactly how I want to set it up, and um, I think I've got it, like, perfect, but I think what we're going to do is uh, skip out on building a couple of stations. Maybe this is the uh, the more boring part of the uh, of the setup, so I didn't know if I wanted to build or not a uh, monorail throughout the whole stream. So here's what I did. So last night I built the monorail, which was basically a continuation of what we already had built. And this thing is like 16 meters, I think, off the ground at any, any given time, or that's its average height. So it's pretty it's pretty cool actually. Um, so we've got several stops, several stations for it. We got an intended stop over here. One over here. It's actually quite high off the ground, uh, which is a good thing because it can actually, you, know, you can actually see some things from the park. So that's pretty cool. So uh, once you get over here, for example, you can see over all the buildings. You can see all the rides, the mountains, the trees, everything. So it's probably like the optimum optimum height. So I think we've got it running um, test wise. I just need to disable these stations. So let's go back in. This is uh, intended to where we're going to have the stations hey, in the future. Shout out. Uh, Sean, thanks for subbing, too. Oh, wow, is this station, like, a little too long? Uh, let's go into... I'm gonna just edit a few things here. I don't even know how long this station is. I wish there was a way you could measure how long a station is. Alright, let's, um... How do I, uh, go into, like, editing and stuff? Hmm, I guess that's it. Um... Now let's stop the test for a moment. I need to figure out how long this station is, or how long the other station is. There's no real way to tell, I think. But I think those two stations are at least good. This this one over here is just not gonna it's not gonna not gonna be a good station for now. So let's delete this. <coughs> we don't have anything over here, so there's no reason to stop. It's just a future idea. Oh, probably went a little too far. There we go. And then we'll just build up to the rest of the track. That should be connected, right? Okay. All right, looks connected to me. All right, so our monorail's looking real good. Um, money was looking great, too, until I built the monorail, which was very expensive. All the uh, track going around the entire existence of this uh, park is not very, you know, it's not very, uh, not very cheap. That's a lot of track. But I'm hoping that it'll be a very good ride and will bring people to... Uh, Pretty hey, much the subscriber shout out. <clears throat> back end of the park, too, over here. And uh, if we need to, we can extend it. Perhaps we can hey, extend it down shout out. to go back up, that kind of thing. Kelly, thanks for subscribing. You guys are fantastic. All right, we're good. All right, so let's see. Oh, when did I build the monorail? We started construction on it last night. I got pretty much... I built from here to about here. And then last night I just wanted to come back and see what it would be like to build the whole thing to see if it would be worth it. And it, and it does fit in the park. We just need... I think there needs to be more park developed in order for it to look like it truly belongs here. So we're pretty much good on that. We still have a lot to do. P path wise and ride wise, there's a lot of things that have to be done on this side of the park. I think I spent, I spent probably about... Maybe like sixty thousand uh, dollars on building this uh, monorail. Hey, subscriber shout out. They're not cheap, but they are super fast, and that is perfect for getting people to the other sides of the park, especially over here, and especially from over here at the main entrance. So whenever we get a big wave of people, the nice thing is, is no matter what, when people come in or leave, they have to walk past here. So if we can figure out a way to get them onto the monorail, that would be cool. Oh yeah, I haven't built your spaceship just yet, Kensha, but you know what? There's uh, an idea to build more mountains and stuff. Ooh, you know what? We could build the mountain from uh, Close Encounters with the third kind. That'd be cool. All 
All right, let's see here. Okay, so we need to build ourselves... Uh, well, I can't believe how... Th these actually seem way too long. Or, meaning... What I don't like about the monorail is that sometimes... And thanks again, Kinsha, for your support. Sometimes it's like the train only goes to here, but there's more than enough room for, like, one more car on the on the train. Number of trains, four. It should say number of cars. It really needs to fix that. Let's go back into here. Yeah, you notice how small that is? I think it's because one of the stations is short. But actually... That doesn't make sense. All these stations are, like, extra long. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, hi, chat. I hope you're doing all great today. Hey, this, this thing's going on along at 55 miles an hour. Look at that thing. And it's got... At most, I tried to keep things at about a 10-degree angle. There's a few spots where I kind of had to uh, do a little bit more than a 10-degree uh, turn. Yeah, look at this. Are these stations... Why can't the train be longer than this? Number of trains, too. That's really weird. Why can it only be four? How long does it have to be to be like five? I think that's enough, though. I think that's enough. Well, that means that we can shorten this up, but I can definitely build two trains now. No, three, because we have three stations. Perfect. Oh, wow. People are just... There's going to be no lines. There's going to be no lines for this thing. Be nice, Kinsha. Don't be that way. <clears throat> All right. Let's... um try to uh I don't I don't understand why these can't be flush So if I shorten the track does it shorten the it might shorten the length of the of the rail car Okay there we go Maybe that's the maximum maybe that's the maximum uh length of the car I don't know. Maybe maybe I just can't do more than... Uh... Oh, look at that. Now it tries to cut off one car. Look at that. Game, don't you do this. Okay, we want four cars. There we go. Okay. So that seems to be the mi minimum uh, length of the, of the station. So I guess we'll get by by just checking to see how much we can shorten it up. By the way, you know what's really cool is when you... The view from this monorail is like probably the best view in the whole park. It's really awesome. I think that's about as far as it's going to let us get. Yep, I tried to shorten it again. Now, which way do you have to get on? I think that's from this side. Okay. So, the monorail is essentially done. We just need to... Uh, Hey, subscriber shout out. Hmm, how come I can't uh Matt, thanks for subbing. An aircraft carrier coaster? What? I don't think that's a thing you can build, but I like the idea. The station's a little too short it seems. Go back one. There's some strange rules on the length of the tr trains that you can build. Can I build from this direction? Why can't I do like an auto build into the station from here? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's four. Alright, so that at least is the perp perfect size for the train stations. So I think for this one we're going to back it up on either side. We want it to look pretty small. Okay, I think we're good now to connect, I hope. Should be able to do it this way, right? Oh, darn it. Why oh, this is going to be the only picky part of this. Because uh, this, this park is so lit and dank, the bright future is blinding, baby. Hey, subscriber shout out. Merlio, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for being here, everybody. It's nice to have you here for Planet Coaster. Hey, we're starting a new city in City Skylines tonight, by the way. 
We're gonna do one all in the snow. Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna be an all winter city. I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw down another station. That should give us the extra there we go, the extra car we need. And then does that connect? Is that actually connected? I have my doubts that that's actually connected. There we go. Okay, let's start a test. They should work. I think they'll go clockwise. Yeah, I think they go. Oh no, they go counter counterclockwise. Okay. I guess depending on which way you look at it. No, it's always counterclockwise. Yeah, these things are flying, man. So this is yet another great way to get people from one side of the park to the other. Why is that one not hey, leaving? Subscriber shout out. I guess I gotta set up the rules like don't block the. Where'd the other car go? Are monorails moving? I see one, two, three. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna hit the stations at the simultaneous times though. That one's a little too far. Hey, subscriber shout out. Robert, thanks for subbing. This is going to be free, too, this ride. Looks like we're losing some cash, but once we open it, it should be yet another ride to bring people over and hopefully increases people's happiness because they'll be able to go on new rides without getting tired. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some of these rides are getting real full. Very nice. Okay. River Rapids are going great. What about the other city and city skylines? Well, we can blow it up another time. I want to build another city, and then I think we'll uh, we'll just because destroying a city would it would it would be like a 15 minute stream to be honest. Like hitting it with a tornado and just watching what happened, it wouldn't last that long. We'll come back to it. I haven't I haven't forgotten. Very cool. Now I think we've got all of our train stations complete. So let's open up the monorail. I think it's ready to open as soon as the test is complete. So in the meantime, let's just throw down some entrances. Hey, subscriber shout out. Uh, the Lone Bandit. Thanks for subbing. Uh-oh. We kind of have a coaster in our way here. We could build pathways through that. I wish pathways were a little more, um... You know, the, they seem to be the most difficult thing in the game. throw down some paths here. Yeah, well, I, I hope you're excited for a city later today. Let's do a different path here. I'm tired of the same. Let's do, like, wood. Hmm. Oh, wait, black or gray? Gray? Yeah, gray is fine. Oh, this looks better. The orange is for rides. The gray should be for transports. Here to here, beer. Uh oh, we got to go through this uh, roller coaster now. Yeah, City Skylines is fantastic. That's why we're playing it again later. Uh oh, in a way, this is almost like City Skylines too. You got to set up transportation lines. You got you got to provide food, uh, you hey, know, food and stuff. Shout out. Cater to people's needs. Uh, Todor, thanks for subbing. Okay, that's one line done. It's hard to see that as a path, though. It's just a standard gray, you know? Or wait, actually, I built the queue out of standard gray. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's a queue color. Okay. Thought I made a mistake. Oh, look at that. Oh, we gotta, we gotta... When I'm done with all the uh, laying out of paths and stuff, we're gonna change up the whole style of everything in this park. It's gonna be really nice. Yeah, you should you should buy City Skylines. You should buy this game. They might be a little on the expensive side, but I will say that these are the types of games where you can come back to all the time. And maybe Planet Coaster is a little bit better because there's actual like missions, so you can kind of learn the game by playing like the objectives. And then you know, once you get bored of that or 
if you want to go build your own thing, you can do that anytime. So it's always fun. Hi, chat. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hopefully you're all doing good today. I'm doing good. I do good, too. Alright, we're gonna have to just go over this way, I think. I wonder if we can sneak under. Nope. Oh, I can't even get next to it. Hey, there, Carol. I don't even know how to get. Oh, what's the problem here? Well, this is where uh, things get ugly. It's very difficult in this game to make beautiful looking mountain paths from hills and hilltops and stuff like that. Not easy. Very difficult. What's up, Zach? Let's just try to build it this way. Not to mention I put a roller coaster in the way, so, you know, that's kind of my bad. Oh, it seems like I'm so close. This will be the hardest one to build after this. It gets a little easier. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we just need to find a pathway through the coaster here. Wow. That loop looks really cool. I like that, man. Alright. Backup idea. Now these are going to look real ugly until I make these into stations, and we'll goof around with the pathways later. I just don't feel like, you know, spending uh, eight hours doing that. You know what I mean. To be honest, this one's not even functional yet either. Let me put down, we're going to skip this station, but I'm going to mark where the uh, station should be lengthwise. Because there's nothing, there's nothing over here yet. So essentially we're bringing people from the entrance and then all the way back. And then we got plans for like two new stations here and there, whatever. All right, let's delete this one and then we'll be good. Yeah, that coaster is open to the public. The problem is we need to get people on some of these rides and that's because they they come in from the entrance and it's a very long way for some people to get to the um, to some of the rides. So we're trying to build monorails and stuff to help them go the distance to where they need to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I have a pew coaster? I suppose everyone kind of throws up on some of the rides. Alright, perfect. We're going to skip that station for now. We'll have to run a test again, and then we'll be good. Why do they both start at the same station? That's strange. Oh, we have three cars. That's why. 
Um, I think we'd be better with just two now. And I, ooh, we can actually, oh, it, it, we can open it. Fantastic. All right, we just need to set down the path for the other one. You know what that means, everyone. We got to move all the trees around. We're going to be doing a big old tree move here. Having ourselves a little tree farm now. If you have a game suggestion, drop a super chat. It's a great way to do that without spamming chat. And I can definitely take it into consideration. That makes it easy for you and me. Alright. So let's build this one similar to the other one. I think this is station 6-1. And the entrance should be here, yes, okay. You just joined the stream? Wonderful, welcome. We're just finishing up the monorail, so it's almost ready to go. I'm gonna build the exit on this one first. Hey, subscriber shout out. Redwood, welcome. Yeah, I gotta get better at figuring out pathways. I've had some trouble Hey, recently with this. Out. Andrew, thanks for subbing. Hey, get out of there. I've had a little bit of trouble recently with paths. But it's mostly because I just want to finish the path and then co we'll come back a little bit later, you know. Okay, so it looks like the park entrance is actually over here. Here, uh, be here, What's up, Sam? I'm gonna stop the construction here to move a few things, and then we also need to build our entrance, which is really gonna have to be like right here. So let's build our entrance. Again, if you have a game suggestion, drop a super chat. Otherwise, it just becomes spammy of play, you should play, when are you playing, you should play, play, this is new, you should play, 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 play. Uh, just enjoy what we're doing now, or drop a super chat to suggest something else. Otherwise, it's just too spammy, guys. Sorry. I'm focused on Planet Coaster. I'm built, I built my monorail. That's what I want to do today. And I'm happy you guys are joining. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Excellent. Check this out. Hey, subscriber shout out. You, thanks for subscribing. Why is this uh strangely elevated? Hmm, that's weird. All right, let's get these trees out of the way. Got to move some of our trees around. We bunched up everything over there to store it for later. Like a squirrel in the winter. Hi, Jacob. All right, let's put our path down here. There we go. I think we're ready to open this thing. King Piggy. Let's get this thing done. What do we do now? Do we open her up and see how she works? Oh, wait. Actually, we've got to put... drop this thing down to zero. How do I, uh... 
All right, I got a charge per station. Well, it's all part of my genius idea. In order to try to move people, we'll see how it works. Looks like a lot of people are already coming. Okay, that's good. Oh, we're at 94,000. Excellent. We're definitely making some good money. Definitely making some good money. Uh, you can check out my computer's part specs down below in the description. There should be a tab there that says, like, Raptor's Computer, and you can see all my, my PC stuff. What's up, Planorama? Oh, well, it looks like there's a lot of people. Ooh, good, good, good. This is good. We grab them right at the start to bring them over to the other area. So if they're interested in uh, going on some of the rides over there, they don't have to walk far. I just don't like some of the paths. I'll have to redesign that. Possibly even move that coaster. It's in a good spot, though. And the trains are bringing over carloads of people, too. They have the option to walk, but the problem about walking is they get tired and then they don't want to go on anything. But the good thing about that is if they get tired, they get hungry and thirsty, and then that's when they go to eat stuff. But this part of the park is good. I mean, look at that. We got people in line there and here. And these lines are continuously flowing. Look at that. Dude, this is great. This station worked well. Okay. So, let's go on the monorail, shall we? And just take a look at the... Why are we... Oh, no. I forgot to set up the uh, blocking rules. My bad. Uh, let's see, don't block, wait for any load at station 13. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. Station 6-1, uh, don't block, wait for any load. I'm hoping that these lines are extremely small because of all the space we have on the monorails. There should be plenty of room for everyone to go on the monorail. Oh boy. We might need to have another car running, possibly. It is long enough to where we can have one on the track and two in the station. I mean, eventually we are going to have a third and fourth station. So we're probably going to be running with, uh, what, like three, four cars? That kind of thing. Do I like games like Need for Speed? Dude, this is the only speed I need with these coasters. Oh, people stay on, too. I, oh, that's one thing I forgot, too, is that people don't get off on each station. They Sometimes they'll stay for the whole ride. Multiple shops are very busy. Good. Too many guests are trying to use it? Well, it's a, it's a wonderful shop. I love this. Not many people are coming back from the other side of the river. They're actually going towards the other side of the river, which is good. We want it kind of being one way. We want there to be tons of people here because there's lots of rides to go on. And they're spending most of their time in the queue. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing Jurassic World for sure. It's going to be really awesome. Oh, how many people can fit on this? Thing? Ooh, look at that line. Whoa, that line filled up really quick. What's the train capacity? If there's... How many people are per car? I'd like to know, it, the game doesn't get, does it tell me details of like passenger capacity and stuff? Does anyone know? Light line, lifetime guest 67. Results. Oh dude, look at, oh that one, oh wet, he almost ran into him, jeez. Slow it down bro. Yeah, it'd be cool if City Skylines had this level of detail, huh? Games of the future, Will. I think we need to have another tra Dude, this is great. The amount of people that are coming over here. Yeah, maybe we have the right number of cars. I don't know. I guess we'll see shortly. But keep in mind, things are going to fluctuate. It's good to see people actually leaving this way. I like people coming on via the train and leave that way. Rudy says it doesn't tell you. Really? Damn. I mean, I guess you could do the math. It looks like each car can hold... Let's see if we can do the math on this. I see four, 
five five four. Is that right? Oh, okay. So it looks like each car has eight on the front and back, and then ten in the middle. So that's eighteen per car. So that's eighteen, 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 eighteen. Is that right? Or is there more capacity in the front? Oh, there's more capacity at the front, too. Where the driver is. So there's another, what, five there in the front and back? So 18 times 4 plus 10. Possibly. I don't, I don't even know. It looked like there was like extra seat. There's probably people sitting. Maybe there's a third, fourth row below. Maybe there's a car. Uh, <laughs> maybe there's people below the train. I don't know. All right, let's see. Instead of saying do more fill-in-the-blank game, drop a super chat. If you want to see certain games, if you want to suggest, if you want to influence what I play on the channel, drop a super chat. Otherwise, it's just unnecessary and repetitive spam. Nobody likes that. This is great. People can leave the uh, people can leave the park from the tra uh, from the uh, monorail. This is wonderful. I feel like I could have another monorail. The only problem is, um, I want one more station. You know where I want it. Like, right over here. Oh, wait a minute. People are bailing on the flume now because there's more things to do. Yes, there's more ways to transport people as well. The monorail was a, was a huge gamble, and it was a real winner. I just need to build a proper station for it now. But if they're all the same length, all I have to do is copy and paste the same building. So let's prettify some things because I kind of had my trees all bunched up. Love that one leaves. Well, the other one's just arriving. That's great. Now right, let's get some of these trees some breathing room. Ride the monorail? I think we should. I like that idea. Let's move some of these trees around and then we'll do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on a ride to the monorail. Ooh. Oh, this is at the, uh, the quiet end of the park. Oh, wow. This is perfect. What's up, Drama? 82 people? Is that Tanner? Is that what you think? Because there's five at the front, five at the back. Then it looks like there's 18 in addition. Each car can hold 18, plus front and back can hold an extra five. So that's 82 people times two, remember, because we have two trains. Whoa, that was a... Well, that coaster was hauling, man. These things take a while to load up. Yeah, because there's four there. And then there's four plus me on that side. Sounds like Sweden. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, subscriber shout oh, This out. is nice. Grady, thanks for subbing. Wow, this thing, we're flying at like 54 miles an hour. Maybe I should just slow her on down a little bit, you know? Let people enjoy the sights. But also, you know, time is money. And also, their time is money, too, because if, if we spend all day on the monorail track. This thing comes to an abrupt stop, though. Look at that. Jeez, it like goes to zero miles an hour. No slowdown or anything? All right, well, for now, we've definitely got ourselves hey, a beautiful shower. design. Gamer Nation, thanks for subscribing. All right, well, if Tanner's right, then there you go. That's 82 people per train, hey, which is uh, 164 per the monorail line right now. So 164 people can be using the line at any given time until we add more trains. That's cool. If, and that is if my math's right, because it looks like there's 18 people in there. 18 people per car. How's your ride? Oh, I don't even remember what your ride was, Jack. We got a lot of people who've dropped super chats to get rides. Okay, well, the monorail is mostly complete. I think, if anything, we'll probably be modifying it in the future, maybe to swing down here, and then putting a station around here, and then over here, too. So we might mono uh, modify the monorail, but for now, it seems to do a nice cut in the park. Essentially, it's basically just a big square cutting through the middle of the park from the entrance to get people everywhere. I don't want to go around the rim, though. I want to, like, drop people off as close to the center as I can. Uh, not yet, Rudy. I was more focused on my monorail. We have now 6,300-something people in the park. This is good. This section of the park now starting to get filled. That's fantastic. I think we're pretty much done on this end of the park. In terms of, like, adding a little details and doing all sorts of things like that. I don't think there's much more we can do. Okay, so notes to self. 
towards the end of when we're done with our park, I need to build a station for every ride. So that's one thing we're going to do. Unless it's uh, inside. This this one kind of has... That one's inside the uh, the park itself. So Wow, we have $113,000. Monorail turned out great, so let's save it here. And we'll keep on moving with... Uh, I think we're going to build a... Uh, should we build another coaster next? Or should we work on like our pirate-themed area? I, st I still need to add some stuff over here. For the monorail. Because I, I plan to build like a uh, pirate cove over here. I need to build a bridge across for this. And uh, let's see. Uh, maybe you should stop spamming chat about playing on turn. That's the third time now. Again, drop a super chat. You guys need to stop spamming and support the channel if you want to see content that you want to see. Otherwise, stop coming into every stream begging for content when we're currently doing this. It's kind of rude and distracting to what's going on. So stop doing that. Thank you. You're mean. Why are you pointing out accurate statements? Hey, right. subscriber shout out. Richard, thanks for subbing. Okay, I'm going to work on a few things here. We're going to work on a few minor things. And I really want Pirate Cove to look beautiful. We got we got to do Pirate Cove over here. I've cut out the land like as square as possible so we can make kind of a Pirate Bay or something like that. And we need to... Uh, I don't know if we build a bridge of a bridge. I don't know. Should we build, should we build a bridge? That goes because this is going to be a bridge here. Eventually, I'm going to I'm going to demolish this track, make a little bridge, and then I don't know. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't have to make a bridge. It's already got. Hmm. I like this though. This this looks like this ship is at dry dock. So this has got to be like our pirate cove. Are there any pirate themed buildings or anything? Let me look. Let me look at some stuff. Is there pirate stuff? Theme pirate. What if I type pirate? No, no pirate. Um, shops and facilities, scenery. What would you call it? Tropic? What, what's it called? T-R-O. Tropic, pirate. There's certain theme things. Maybe it's under just buildings in general. Oh, here we are. This is kind of what I was looking for. Pirate villa. There we go. So this is what I kind of want this to look like, uh, out of the ordinary. There's just going to be a little pirate cove here. This is perfect for the kiddies. Like, there's a lot of good little rides over here. Some things that we can shuffle over this direction. What's up, Watch and Learn? So I'm going to make everything from, like, basically just here to up to the monorail. This is this is now Pirate Cove. We need to we need to make Pirate Cove today. Yar. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get to it, then. Uh, first of all... I think we have enough water. If we add more, it's just going to minimize the rides. Space for rides. Hey, subscriber shout out. Uh, Kawaii, thank you for subscribing. We need a bridge across Pirate Cove. We need there to be the pathways around Pirate Cove. So let's use angle snap. Yeah, we'll build a monorail station there later. First, I gotta have, like, actual reason for people to stop there, though. If I build a station, people are gonna get off, and <laughs> there's gonna be nothing for them to do. And they're gonna be like, why did, why did we get off here? Oh, I hope the pirate swing doesn't block that. Okay, good. What on earth could possibly be blocking us? Oh, it's the land. Okay. I like how this game is so bad with the pathways. It's like flat land. It, it has to add on. You could literally fit a Japanese airport right here. Like, come on, why do we have to add so much tremendous space? They can watch the construction. Yeah, but I'm not paying to an, go to an amusement park to watch a construction site. That's no fun for me. I want to go on roller coasters and Ferris wheels and, you know, have uh, cotton candy. And then pay too much on parking. That's what I want for my amusement park. Can you place palm trees in Pirate Cove? Yep, we can place all sorts of things. We need to kind of mix this up a little bit. I want there to be a different 
you know, certain theme parks have like different um, little little areas to them. This isn't like a crazy, you know, huge area. This, this is gonna mix things up a little bit. Let's redo that. Perfect. So I'm now laying out the streets of Pirate Cove. Yep, it'll definitely. We're definitely doing pine tre or palm trees for sure. Pine trees have no place here except for on the mountain. But it'll be like its own little thing. Maybe we can put our own little eatery here and stuff too. I'm just kind of tired of the whole pine theme. I mean, we did it all the way over on this side of the park, and over here, it's probably going to have the same theme too. But we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different. In fact, maybe we could put our hotel. Ooh, what if we put a hotel over here? <gasps> Instead of just doing uh, a station. A normal station here. Maybe we could do a. Maybe we could do like a little, uh, little hotel. That'd be cool. Oh, you never knew how much of a insane PC I had. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of that's just future proofing because you know I don't want to have to buy another PC for a long time. And uh, you know, kind of rewarded from my hard work for all the years on YouTube, that kind of thing. But it goes right back into the stream anyway. Just makes a higher quality stream. I hope, anyway. So this should lead to Pirate Cove. Could you stop, game? There we go. Yay! Alright, so there's a lot of ugly things that we need to fix. Like, these pathways are totally no-go. Those are going to be demolished and redone at some point. Pirate food is beer. Well, no. Pirates don't drink beer. They drink uh, rum. That's right. Oh, make a contemporary hotel in Walt, Walt Disney World? Oh, I love the ideas, guys. I love your ideas. You know what I don't love? Where's the support beams? Holy crap. What? Is this just a floating bridge? Look at that. There should be a support beam here. This game is so weird with its paths. Like, where's the support beams? There should have been one here and here. Didn't you have the uh, option for that? Weird. I'll just make it look fake. We'll put some rocks or something. Buccaneer Village for the hotel name. Oh, actually, I like naming the whole area just Buccaneer Village. That's going to be sweet, dude. That's that's a good name suggestion, my man. Now, I wonder if we can sneak under... Is this enough elevation to sneak under for the railroad pass? Oh, my God. For the first time ever in this game, we can actually logically sneak under a path where it doesn't need to be insanely below it. Fantastic. All right, we can build all the way over there. That's awesome. Hey. Beautiful. So, uh, check marked flattened terrain, and what happens? Just builds right through it. Game. Why are you doing this to me? Hey, subscriber shout out. Bruno, welcome. What is this game doing? Take this to make it make it this height. Alright, what if we push it back? At this point it just looks like somebody mowed the lawn and all the shavings went into the path. What's up, Stitch? Hey, subscriber shout out. Strictly pirate hotels. We could do a hotel in each section, but I've not done hotels before. I don't know how profitable they are. And we'll see. Oh, dirt pass. Good. Well, that's a good point, actually. Um, you're right. Is there a way to just change paths without, like, deleting and rebuilding? Good point. Is there something else that says more piratey? Cobblestone like that definitely feels like tropical and stuff. I've seen a lot of roadways that way. I just don't want to do like a natural dirt path or something like like that. That just seems like it's a little too too much. But there is a dirt path you can choose, isn't there? 
Oh, you mean like right here. Sandstone. Oh, it's actually made out of stones. Oh. Dakari, thanks for subscribing. You know what we could do? Alright. This is this is the initial plan, uh, phasing, planning phases, so... Alright, let's just do, do this. We'll, uh, we'll lay it out in this stone, and then we'll rebuild it in whatever we want next. All we have to do is basically just delete it and rebuild it. It's fine. So we'll come back to that one. But good point. There we go. Buccaneer Island. Well, I don't know. I like I like how there's trains next to pirate. Oh, whatever. That's what happens when you're limited on space, I suppose. And keeping everyone in a small space is a good move because, as you know, it's all about kind of keeping things close. Otherwise, some of these rides don't get anybody on them. Actually, it probably comes down to the pricing. Well, let's just charge a buck. Just trying to get a little extra cash off maintenance costs. Alright, this is now Dollar World. <laughs> this is now Dollar World over here, so everyone can come on in for a dollar. High tech pirates, yeah. Well, I guess the age of piracy truly hasn't ended. So, you know. Oop. So weird, I can't even... Ah, whatever. This was a smart idea to lay out the rides before we put down the paths, because it gave us extra room to plan out. What else do we need to put down? What else seems pirate-themed? The, the pirate ship, obviously. The balloons. I mean, you know, whatever. Um... Wood would work for the paths? Absolutely. Well, we can always come back and... Once we've laid this out, all we gotta do is just right-click and then left-click again on what we want to put down. Why do these paths hover like this game? Come on. Put down support beams. I'll do it myself later. It'll be fine. Uh, the whirly ri Oh, this... Actually, this ride belongs hey, over here. Subscriber shout out. Ashlander, thanks for subbing. So we got this over here. We could totally move this over to the pirate-themed area, which would be appropriate. And then we could put something else over here, perhaps the fer maybe the Ferris wheel. Hmm. What other rides don't we have down yet? And what research haven't we done? Let's take a look. You love the live streams? Well, I love your support. Thank you. Oh, we got new coasters available. The El Eltheon. Wow, look at how many people that coaster holds. Bird of rubber, did we unlock go kart? Oh my god, we unlock go karts. Oh man. Oh, that's what we're doing. We are doing go karts. Yes, I am loving this game, Jonathan. Oh man, how much money do I have? 114,000 in the game. Oh man, this is awesome. What is that thing? The genie family ride. Oh, is that one of those things that goes up and then it goes it goes back? Oh, I, I know what those are. Let's let's put that that actually looks cool. We can always rename these things to be like Buccaneer or something. All right, hold on. Wow, I'm really excited now. We got some cool stuff. Now we can build go-karts, dude. Go-karts are a go. You know what we need to do? We need to build a track that spirals all the way up to the atmosphere and then just come straight on down. That's what we need to do for go-karts. And we'll call it uh, we'll call it uh, State Farm Presents. Because <laughs> we're going to need their support for the liability insurance on those carts. All right, let's first of all look at what, what, it, what was that thing we unlocked. It was called the Genie. Is that under Gentle Rides? Oh, this thing. What is this thing? Let's go over here and look at it. Oh, yeah, it is what I thought it was. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, aren't those things supposed to rotate? Can you build a path under there? Oh, this totally fits. Oh, it's a genie. Darn it. Well, I guess it doesn't really fit in Pirate World. I, if we could replace the genie's thing with a pirate ship or a boat, it would definitely be a... Pro oh, wow, that's a huge... That is huge. What is this thing? Oh, the collider. Oh, we got one of these, too. This thing spins and it lifts up. Oh, the, oh man. We got so many rides. Oh, my God. All right, let's do this. Let me move my uh, pirate. I want to move our pirate ride. Well, eh, let's do it after Pirate Cove opens. We'll put it over. Uh, we'll put it on the other side of the tracks, like over here. 
Pirate Cove should end over here. It's not going to be very big, but I think that's what what will make it special. Actually, we can put a food court over here, put our whirly thing. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Now, we do have our bridge there. It's so stupid we have to go up three to get over the trains. Why not two? Let me undo that. All right, I got an idea. What we'll do is we'll put the exit for this ride over here. Wherever that needs to connect. And then we'll build our... Eh, whatever. Future themed area? <gasps> Should we do a future theme? I like that. Then we can finally use Kinsha's wonderfully fantastic battle cruiser. Where do we put future world? Hmm... Could totally do that. Actually, I, I like that idea. Let's start moving some of our rides around. Let's do this. So we're going to make things in and around Pirate Cove to be more classic rides, such as these. We don't want it all in one place, but we definitely should put more things there. Because, like, for example, if we move these out of here, it's it's going to alienate younger riders. They shouldn't have to move to, like, a whole different set of the park. There should be, like, this ride's for you, then this one's not, then this, this one is, and then these two aren't, and then you go eat, that kind of thing. Okay, well now we got some good stuff. We can build a go-kart track, and go-karts need a mountain. Don't you think? I mean, to, to go go-kart racing on and around a mountain or in a canyon? Cart canyon? If only we had a giant canyon somewhere in our park where we could build a huge, unquestioned, wonderful go-kart track in. Unfortunately, I don't see any perfect spot with a canyon. So we'll have to keep looking around. Maybe we'll find one someday. But oh well. I guess we'll see. Yeah, there's a spinning octopus over there. It's called the Rocktopus. And it squirts bubbles too. It's wonderful for the kids. They love it. Although I'm concerned with there being... Uh, this is like the hey, main... Subscriber shout this out. is like the main line for the train station. And there's really not a lot of people coming through. But we are getting a lot of people from the... Uh, the monorail. Let's paint the monorail. I don't, I don't like these colors. Is there a way to paint? Train color. Oh, red floor. Oh, blue? Oh. Maybe it was fine the way we had it. Oh, a red line going down the side is nice. Can we paint the track? Oh, there's music. Let's get music. What music do we want? Shanty Town, Fairy Tale, Holiday. Flat ride music. Orchestral Planets Collide. Oh, I already know what that's going to be. Hey, come on. I'm trying to pick music here. God, it sounds like a fair merry-go-round. Oh, let's do... Should we do rock? Oh, this is rock to post rock. Oh, man. You're going to sponsor? Yeah, if you do, your name will pop up here, so I appreciate your interest. Planet Adventure? Spooky... Uh, I can't even hear it anyway, so who cares? Alright, can we paint the tracks? Oh, we can you not paint the track in this game? I painted the train, but the stations are like weird light blue. Move or place entrance? I don't want to do any of that. Put M&M &M on that rail? Yeah, we can play rock bottom at each each stop. 
Okay. So a couple of things that we need to change in the park is first of all this like blaring orange is not nice for most rides. I think maybe we can make perhaps we can make the orange for roller coasters and tracked rides. And then we'll make something a little less aggressive for some of these rides. We'll have to shut everything down. And that's going to be a boring experience. But I'm just thinking of ideas for the future. So we got Pirate Cove planned out. But we need go-karts going on, dude. We need some go-karts. And the question is, where do we put them? I feel like they're, they need to go to their own section. Or like we need to build another mountain for go-kart go mountain. Oh, that'd be looking cool. Yeah, the blaring orange is definitely not nice. It, it I, I like it for coasters because, you know, we're gonna eventually we're gonna be building like a, a station around these, so it'll be a little harder to see. But I like the idea of doing it for coasters, but I want something a little bit more mild for all other rides. Crazy cars, bumper cars. We have bumper cars already. That's right here. Actually, let's take a look at our research. Okay, we're researching two more things. Marketing's going great. We're up to 6,200 people in the park. I'm assuming we've got problems with, uh, yep, angsty teenagers again. Dude, you hire 1,700 teenagers to this place. Like, why Why does staffing do this? There's never enough labor here. Hey, subscriber shout-out. It's just because they keep quitting because they're, they're busy, that's why. Marissa, thanks for subbing. I had a busy day at work. I got to leave my job. That's enough. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know if we should decorate or put down more rides. I feel like we need more rides, but I also want to put down the go-karts, but we don't really have good room for the go-karts. If we do our futuristic section, we'll need hey, to get the, the looper out of there, because these are like spaceships. Really ring, thanks for subbing. Hey, subscriber shout out. All right, let's see what we haven't put down yet. Christian, welcome. Okay, we haven't put down the Collider. We haven't put down the Genie. And we all, I know we haven't put down the Sun Flare. Everything else we put down, I think. Okay. So we only have a few more rides that we can put down. So we may as well just start decorating. Let's, let's decorate the mountain. I don't know if we should do go-karts, though. If we do go-karts... Should we do them in this mountain, or should we do them somewhere else? Buccaneer Village? Oh, I don't know. I got I got so much ADD now, because there's so many different things I want to do in this park. So many different things I want to do. I want to put trees down. I want to put down rocks. and but. Alright, I don't know. Kind of want to put down go-karts, though. However, I don't know if that's... Well, let me let me check that first. Let's let's check go karts for a second. So is that under powered rides? Ring racers, okay. So how potentially large is a go kart track in the game? Let's see. Is it not going to put it down? What's this? Steam. Yeah, ring racers. Give me the. It's not even giving me the thing. Oh, there's no. There's no. Ooh, they get good excitement though. They get good excitement. Okay. Should we do it through the canyon? I know, but I want to put a coaster in there. Hey, people are saying shout go out. go kart canyon. All right, fine. It could be something to look forward to. Marcus, thanks for subbing. All right, let's get let's get to work on details then. You guys are hey, talking about pirate cove. Shout out. We'll go do pirate cove then. You know me and my water. I seem to really enjoy all the waterworks and stuff. <gasps> Actually, we could put all the rocks here. That looks funny. That pathway there is a little goofy. Gorge. Actually, wait a minute. This is Pirate Cove. We need to do different rocks over here, don't we? What's up, Hayden? Okay, let's do this. We're we're entering a whole new world. We're now in pirate. It's now pirate themed. So let's filter by, uh, how do we do this? By nature region, tropical, there we go.
I feel like we need to build, hey, like, a out. giant skull for people to walk through, you know? Well, let's not start here under the path. Let's start... Oh, God. Looks like this all got goofed up. Alright, let's fix our terrain, and then we'll start putting down some rocks. Hey, subscriber shout out. Jet, thanks for subbing. Yep, a whole new world. Hey. hey subscriber shout out. Tele Ingleska Tech. Arsenal, thanks for subbing too. Okay, let's put down some rocks. Hey, subscriber shout out. Hey, subscriber shout out. Oh, weird. It actually cut out the bottom, but not the... Okay, that's going to be weird. Um, I need to push the path back a little bit. But I don't know if it'll let me. It's charging me a penny, but it won't let me move it. Okay. The problem is it's cut out the bottom of the, the path a little bit, so... Okay. Do we ride that flies? Well, technically you can't do any, like, flying rides. They all have to be on a track or on a... They have to be connected to something. Alright, so that's Pirate Cove's theme. So we're going to do rocks all the way around there. That's going to be wonderful. But I want to lay out stuff before we do uh, decorations, that kind of thing. Well, look at that one palm tree. This one's just leaning. I feel like we need to separate Pirate Cove with like a like a wall of uh, rocks or something. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm having a great day so far. All right. Well, we can do we can do uh, go karts, but I think we need to finish this area before we go on anywhere else. So let's put down some trees here. Let's finish it all off. Oh, build the carts in the mountain. I like the idea. Okay, let's go ahead and... We're going to just put down regular trees in here. Let's make it look like things are permanent again. There we go. Yeah, we still need to design our stations for the monorail and for the large train station. Now we're going to make this place actually look decent, and we're going to decorate the mountain. There's perfect perfect space here for a ride. We need to figure out what, though. I have so much money. Yeah, we've earned quite a bit. People love this park. We're just going to fill in all the space now so it looks like a decent place. This should raise the... Uh, the rating of some of our coasters and water rides too, so it'll probably attract more people over here. It'll be nice. It'll be super cute. Bye. All right. There we go. Starting to look good now. I'm 
blend everything together nicely with trees. Wow, that guy was having a tons of time. Yeah, we're rolling in the Benjamins for sure. We did a lot of good work to build a lot of great roller coasters and rides that people are enjoying. I think we're just going to dump a bunch of trees on top of this mountain. Call it good for the most part. If I'm going to build another ride through here, it's going to have to be in the mountain itself. We need to get some more uh, tr different tree uh, variants too. Alright, let's try this. I feel like I need to build a uh, logging camp or something up here. I want to build like a lumber mill or something going through. I'm, I'm not very skilled with building, so we'll get to that. Alright, the trees made things look good. Then we'll s make change things around Pirate Cove. Maybe we'll do Pirate Cove and then Future World over here in these indents here. We'll build special themes around here as well. Uh, yeah, Leslie. Absolutely. Okay. How is the monorail doing? Oh wow. We might need another car. Oh no. Let's see if it let's see if it takes up all these people. Yeah, Jurassic World Evolution looks great. It's from the same people as uh, as this game, Frontier. So it's going to be really cool. Let's see if uh, this line clears out. I think it's going to take most of the people in the queue. This is going to be cool. I think that's it. Yep, that, that should be full. And there she goes. And the other train should be arriving any second. Oh, I guess not. Maybe in a minute. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, we'll be doing City Skylines later. Alright, so we've laid out paths for Pirate Cove. We've got a few trees down here to bring this world together a little bit. There's still space for uh, more food courts and more uh, eatery areas. We just need to have things look a little more lived in. I need to get rid of some of these ugly paths and such for our possible train station that we we're going to do. And we still have more rides. Uh, actually, we've kind of run out of thrill rides at this point. I've like stuffed everything over in this area to where we now can just do like more spread out theme worlds. We can build all the way down to this corner. I don't think we will. I think what we'll do is we'll build up here all the way along this side of the canyon. And then we'll use the can. We probably won't end up f filling this space over here. We'll see. You know, we do have to build a, one of the one of those crazy coasters, though. Let's build that big crazy coaster. You guys know what I'm talking about. Why don't we ever have a spot to put that down? We haven't even built that yet. I want that thing in my park. Where is it? What is that thing called? Um. Hey, subscriber shout out. It's called like the Spire of Death or something. T Rex, thanks for subbing on. Oh, here it is. Spire of, Spire of what? Shock. There we go. That's This is what we want. Look at this thing. Actually, this is perfect for going along the canyon. Or better yet. Oh, this could go in the future section. Oh, this is perfect because it, it, it's a very futuristic like ride. 
Okay, we can do a transition to Future World. Alright, so Future World's going to be here. Pirate Cove's going to be here. And then we can possibly put something out on the islands. That's going to be cool. Rabbit food for my guests. Whoa. You whoa. Okay. So let's... Man, I don't know. I, there's so many different things to work on. Where does where do go-karts fit in then? They, they don't really go into future world. Well, wait a minute. Why don't we just make a pathway that goes up here? You know what I never did? We have a pathway that goes into this mountain. But why don't we just have a, a walking path that goes up here? And if we build a monorail station here, the only thing that's going to be here is a pretty big coaster. And also... Um, the go-karts. That would be great for an Old West theme over there. What about here, though? Because we have a giant canyon. And nothing says like the Old West. If we spray-painted this a little bit and turned it into a canyon. We, oh, maybe, maybe we could make this Old West over here. Well, we could call it uh, the Old West. There's uh, Pirate Cove, Future World. Future World can actually come all the way down to here. Because we're, we're going to be having some big coasters there. Alright, we're just thinking about future planning. Let's go ahead and save here. And then I can go ahead and connect to the uh, the monorail as well. Which is conveniently parked right out here. We can start getting uh, people to come over this direction. We do need walking paths though. And that's a long way to walk. Could build a path that comes along the mountain. Uh, it's going to be a long bridge coming across the river, though. Mm. It's hard building away from the main section. Redemption Val... Ooh! We get a tie-in with uh, Red Dead Redemption? Or just, like, uh, the company who makes that? Who is... Who makes that? That is... Uh, geez, why... Wow, Rockstar. Last with... I, I like... I don't know. Redemption Valley. I like that idea. Okay, well, we're getting a lot of ideas. Go-karts wouldn't fit there, but they also don't kind of fit anywhere. So we can just put them wherever. Uh, but let's take a look at our research. Like, are we at the end of Incredible View? Oh, what is that? Oh, is this like an observation thing? Oh, I totally want to build one of those. We could put that somewhere near the... Uh, oh, you know what? If we could build the observation tower, we might be able to build it out here to get a, a path built out here and then build a bridge across, and then boom, Old West. If the observation tower is here, it'll allow us to see, like, up this high... You can see the whole park from here and the mountain. Okay. Well, we've got some genius ideas here. The, this is all flowing into... Uh, it's all going to, according to plan. Yeah, we have a couple rides that go underground. I still haven't earned any of these rewards. Like, build a coaster with two inversions. Like, whatever. Achieve a monthly profit from coasters of 1500 Well, we've lowered the prices too low. Build a coaster with at least 8.0 excitement. Now, that, that's, just, that's just crazy. There's no way you can do that. You like the red... Well, actually, didn't we eventually... Like I said, I was going to make this a Skyrim coaster over here. I mean, we could totally do games, but it's all going to be determined... The most important thing is, like, the station. That's what kind of determines the theme of the ride. So let's let's see if that research is done. Build our... Uh, oh, there we go. Is this the observation tower? Hey, subscriber oh, shout out. no, it's not. Frankie, uh, thank you for subscribing. What is that? Family ride. Family-friendly classic. Oh, like the channel. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to rides. Let's go to gentle rides. What is that thing? Radius. Is that just like a mellowed down Ferris wheel? Oh, it's... Oh. What? What is... This is basically a Ferris wheel, but not a Ferris wheel. This is the strangest Ferris wheel ever. Hmm. Maybe it's cop... Maybe the word fer co uh, Ferris is copyright. I don't know. I, th I thought Ferris was like a French translation of, like, the wheel at the fair. Oh, did this ride break down? Oh, great. Well, we have $140,000 in the bank now. Our marketing uh, techniques are going fantastically. 
And there's just tons of people on these rides. It's insane. Well, so much for that observation post thing I was going to build. But, okay. So we got this thing themed out, right? So we got Old West, Future World, Pirate Cove, which is tiny, but that's fine. Because there, there's really not a lot of assets for pirate stuff. It looks like the London Eye. Kind of, yeah. In fact, I'm sure somebody's modded that in. I'm sure that's already in here. It's not. It's just not huge. We're kind of out of theme rides. We're kind of out of thrill rides, which makes me nervous because you need more reasons to get people over to places. I doubt people are going to take the monorail to go on one coaster and then come back. Hmm. Well, let's lay out the pathways for uh, Future World and uh, whatever else. I guess if Future World's going to have a different path, it probably should be like what? Black marked with logo. Glossy vinyl. Colorful cobblestone. Stone trim. Hmm. What seems like futuristic? I don't know. I, see, I think standard asphalt would look fine. What's up, Chaos? I like having the path down by the river. This makes it look like a... Uh, like a harbor or something to me. Alright, Jonathan. Thanks for being here. Oh, we got a lot of... Uh, you can see I built this in a hurry. Alright, so Future World is here. Actually, we need to turn the... There we go. Side needs to go up a bit. You know, we need to build a hotel, too. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How do you do that? Is there, like, a facility for hotels? Oh, there it is. Castle Hotel, Fairytale Hotel, Parkside Hotel, Riviera, Riviera, or Western. Riviera might... This might go... This might fit the pirate theme a little bit. Kind of. Ooh. There we go. We could, ooh, we could put it right over here. See, I need to build like a large public square. I need to build like an eatery area. Unfortunately, there's one already there. But maybe we can put it over here for some of the, uh, yeah, the monorail into the, I think they have that at Disney World, don't they? Where the monorail comes right in like that. Although I don't want to build a, uh, I'm very bad at buildings, so that's one of the last things I'm going to have to do. You think the park hey, is great, but I'm, shout out. I'm missing a lot. Like, the, be the best I could do is this, and this building is just like... There's so many violations to code. I'll need a little bit of practice on that before we go into that. Okay. Um, let's see. So we could probably put down some more rides. Okay. I just I feel like the genie fits into Pirate Cove, but it it, to it totally doesn't. But then again, if you think about a Pirate Cove, pirates travel all over the world, right? So, uh, you know, there's the hot air balloons, there's the the ship, there's the genie bottle, you know, for like the Middle Eastern feel to it. What else could we do? Maybe we move the car uh, the Ferris wheel or the um, carousel over here and the that other ride. Man, Pirate Cove's not not getting the love it deserves. Hey, wait, what's up there, uh, Waylon? Yeah, this is Lit Dankville's theme park. Yeah, so we can get city skylines and build a new theme park or the uh, new city tonight. This thing's just too. 
too cumbersome for that. All right, so we're going to move that in there. So much to do, I just can't decide what to do now. Because, like, the only real big thing left in the game is, like, all these crazy coasters to build. That's the only thing we haven't yet done is build these gigantic coasters. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do a thousand stations. That wouldn't be smart at all. Hey, subscriber shout out. Mojo, welcome. Okay, let's um Let's see. Put something down. Uh Sunflare will be best for the Wild West. Things are getting too spread out now. We've got like a million things here. We got crazy coasters around here. Well, we can make our first futuristic ride then. Hey, oh boy. subscriber shout out. Alex, thanks for seven. Oh, we could build it out on the island. Personally, I don't think people are going to go out that far. Robot for Futureville. Yeah, th there's this thing here. This coaster is really future themed. Darn. I just want to have this thing in the middle. Problem is, our uh, monorail is kind of in the way. Hey, subscriber shout out. Blitz, thanks for seven. Wow, look at how far this thing has to be back. Jeez, man. Look at this. There's no way people are going to get on them. <laughs> That's so far. That's so far to walk. Even with the monorail. I hope we don't run out of rides to build because, like, the the size of our park is going to be limited by the amount of rides we have. Because, like, right now I got tons of coasters that we can build, but I also kind of want to go for theming. But if I go for themes, you guys are going to have to watch me put down rocks over and over and over, and that's not going to be very fun. So, though we've done it a million times, so I'm gonna if I'm gonna build themed areas, they have to be done like this. This is what it takes to do a theme area. You have to put rocks down everywhere and then build the buildings and then put rides down that are appropriate. Don't know how I feel about this thing. I don't I don't think I like it. Well, you can't promote the ride there, Leslie. There's no there's no specific marketing campaign that allows you to promote a ride. Like when you, when you do your promotions, you can only ap appeal to demographical groups, not actual rides or give out food coupons or something like that. That'd be a great thing, by the way, for the park, is to give everybody, a f if you pay the $100 entry fee, there's a free hamburger in it for you and a ton of rides. People would love that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is just kind of boring back here. There's not much to look at from this far off. 50s theme section. Oh, it would just be like bumper cars. Yeah. We would, we'd have to just move all the stuff we have just to like one section. And that would be no fun. Oh, the monorail's getting in the way. This thing is taking up way too much space. I can't believe how uh, big this thing is. But when the when the people go down, they'll pay for it and they'll go on the, the ride like crazy. But in my opinion, it's just going to be... 
kind of just lame. All right, let's put it out here and see what happens. I guess we'll, we'll put it this way. Oh, why does this thing have to be elevated so high? What are those hovering things out there? Oh, are those decorations for me moving the ride that didn't come with? Oh, great. Yeah, that's going to go into Pirate Cove. I don't want that. There we go. Alright, so it looks like a bunch of stuff is stuck out in the middle now. Wonderful. So now we gotta delete all that. That probably didn't go with the ride. Since I moved it, a lot of that stuff didn't come with, so now it's not gonna have like sounds on the inside. Maybe I should rebuild it. Okay, we fixed that section. All right, let's go ahead and uh, give it a test drive. I think all the sounds are disabled though, so I might have to like put it down again. Oh, there's the speaker hanging up from the ceiling. Yeah, this is just lame to me. <laughs> this isn't really fun. I guess it'd be cool if we were in the middle of the park, you know? Like if we were actually uh, launching the... Ah, boy. Doing the future theme is going to be a killer. Wow, we put, we put everything here. start not charging for some of these rides get people on here okay let's see oh that broke down oh that should be like two dollars again well we're making tons of money now off of our uh, park entry fees I still haven't even built like an official entrance either. Can build a uh, train station there. Hmm. And the themed areas are going to kill it for creativity. I now I feel like at this point all we can do is build like up to here, with like thrill rides, and then everything else is going to have to be like a coaster area. Or, or go-karts. Uh, I don't think you can have a laser place, but I do want to put down go-karts. And if we put down go-karts, it's going to have to be like in and around this mountain. And this might be the best place to put it. So let's do some go-karts. Let's, let's try some go-karts out a little bit. Build it next to the main uh, theme here. I'm going to save over that. That looked great. Uh, what I want to do is I want to build that, that big launch coaster at some point. But i got to figure that out. That that. Uh, that futuristic section. I don't know. We, we got to figure that out. Well, let's do a go-kart now. And for whatever reason, when I kept trying to put this down, it wouldn't go down. Oh, there it goes, finally. All right, let's see how big their go-kart is. Okay, so a go-kart track. What is there on here? Looks like there's obstacles people need to drive around. Tight turns. All right. We're going to build some of the go-kart underground. So this will be pretty sweet. All right, let's do it. Boy, their station looked pretty awesome, too. Wait a minute. You know what? What if I... 
Uh, I was going to try to st somehow steal that. All right, never mind. You know what this game needs is a midway section, too, for little games and prizes and stuff. Just to make a little extra money on the side. But I guess it would technically be considered gambling in certain areas. Hmm. We need to figure out where to put the go-kart. Hey, subscriber shout-out. Aaron, welcome aboard. Okay, let's just do this. Get this tree out of the way. Okay, let's start with our go-karts. Oh, narrow track. Narrow track start. Standard track. Oh, okay. So there's a lot we can do. Well, in the canyon, well, if this is pop, I mean, to be honest, in this park, we have two log flumes because they were that popular. If the go-karts become that popular, we can definitely make more than one. Optional railing. Auto tunnel, there we go. Well, this is going to be top tier Mario level stuff here. Hmm. But I don't know how I feel about this being right here, but I guess there's no other best, better place to put it on. <laughs> We're going to end up going into the same mountain again. Well, underground will be really cool. Wait a minute. I'm going to put the go-kart on the other side, and I'm going to make this path going across the top. What's up, Juan? Hey, subscriber shout-out. <laughs> Kami Canuck. Welcome as well. Can we make drops like a Mario Kart? I'm not sure. I just know we have to build a crazy pathway here. I actually don't know how far we have to go over, but that's my idea. All right. Let's build our coaster now, or our track. Rainbow Road. It's my favorite flavor of ice cream. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a lot to do, don't we? Man, I gotta build a whole go kart down here. Go, go kart track down here. All right. Well, before we go any further, let's get rid of the trees because we know we're gonna be using those. Okay. I don't think we need auto tunnel on for this one. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, is the path too close? Oh, come on. That's not even close. It'd be perfect. There needs to be a chill mod where the game just chills with its ridiculousness with paths. It just needs to just chill. Just chill game. Game needs chill. There we go. We need to build a whole tunnel there in order to do that. Lols. This is just a little bumpy land. There we go. Should just be an option to flat land, not tunnel through it. Especially for this ride. Actually, maybe we should do more of a straightaway here. Maximum length. Oh, there we go. Yeah, give me, give me that twenty meter. There we go. There we go. You guys ride uh, go karts in real life, by the <coughs> by the way. Anybody ride go karts? Yeah, you guys like go karts. Oh, that's gonna be dangerous. Up the hill and merging. Oh, I've ridden go karts a few times. Uh, oops, with the autocomplete. Go karts are a ton of fun to ride. Now, if you do it uh, competitively, like for example, hey, subscriber you know, you, shout out. You get a group group of friends and you practice like weekly or something like that. They're a lot of fun. Go-karts are really cool because their weight to power ratio are just insane. I mean, they don't have a lot of torque and they don't have a lot of top speed, but they're really fun because you can really get going. And especially, you know, when you're not in a car and you're just in a, like, a essentially a lawnmower. A riding lawnmower of death. It's pretty cool. Hey, subscriber shout out. Scales, welcome. Just kind of trying to see what the track would feel like here. Uh, we have a park where you can do races and drive Jeeps. Yeah, Gert, I've been to, uh, I forget what it is, but there's a, in the Netherlands, there's like a, they have a building where there's multiple stories of um, go-kart track. So like literally you go inside of a building and you, you can like drive to the top of the building and down. I forget what it's called exactly. I forget the name. Like Race World or some, some, some cool thing like that. And they're just, they're really fun. Raced all, all of our friends and everything like that. that. That's a good time. That's what we call a good time. Yeah, we need a little bit of a hill here. We need something. But we do need to go down to zero. Wait, how did I... 
Oh, it's because I went up twice. Okay. I wanted you to level off here, actually. Oh, there we go. That's better. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Oh, you have to have uh, straight away for that, I see. Hold on, I'm trying to back out to move some trees now. Okay, well this is interesting building a go-kart track. I, I really don't think mine is very good. Hey, uh, subscriber shout out. Given our very limited space. Yeah, it would be cool if the track went out in the water. Problem with that. Is that it'll look a little weird to have like two longer bridges going out there. There we go. Ooh, that looks cool. Very nice. Well, it may be a short track, but also, remember, riders can also go on multiple laps. You can see what I'm trying to do here, just make them most of all the space that we have for the go-kart track. I don't think we'll be able to make that turn. Nope. We'll go a little bit more to the left and pull it back. Mm -hmm. Should be able to sneak past. Jay Blake Blaylock, thank you very much for your uh, two British pounds, and hello to you. Hi, how's it going, dude? Wait, what? What is that dotted line? Is that what... Oh, is that the path that the, the drivers automatically take or something? that turn baby now if uh, they don't make if they don't feel like making that turn someone's going into the train oh that's gonna be a liability I don't like how long this section has to go on for though Can you can make the cross across the train? <laughs> I don't know about that. So 
actually a pretty long track now if you think about it. This seems to be the easiest way for us to make turns. Oh, gotta get the trees out of here again. It's really weird getting the train to turn though, or the uh, the track. think so. Why does it do that? It knows there's something there. There it goes. I feel like we need a up up section or something. Oh boy. Problem is, we have to revert back to our uh, large section. Wow, doing this in tight space is really cool. I get, this is an interesting challenge. Can I auto-complete track? Like This is going to be the craziest turn ever. We'll never make this, but I want to know what it'll try to do. Yeah, I think we just need to swing back around. Bob's bumpers. All right, Jay, we can do that. Thank you for your support. Actually, we can just come right back down. Uh, game, what are you trying to do here? Wow, look at that turn. Oh, it looks like that because the track widens before it turns. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. That's a pretty decent track. Not, not, not the best, but it's very space efficient. Ooh, actually, that yeah, that works really well. Now, let's give it a test drive. Can we test drive this thing? Uh, you'll need to place the entrance and the exit. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, they can only be placed on this side? Um, nope. Can't do that. Uh, head of the station to be... There we go. Hey, subscriber shout out. Brittany, thanks for seven. It can only just be opened? Oh, okay. Yeah, we made a decent track. We'll add decorations and stuff to it in a little bit. It fit, fits into a tight space. I think what we can do is I want I kind of want to build another one that's even more elaborate than this. This is all right. And uh, the pathway up here is supposed to more importantly go to our pirate cove there. So let's get get that project done. Hmm. Ah, the paths I built in this game are just kind of sometimes they're just ugly. But there's really no way around the, uh, no r r real way around that uh, go-kart path. 
Or do we even put a path here? Why, why do we need a path here? I mean, we're going to have our monorail delivering people to the other side anyway. Eventually, we're going we're gonna to build a station here. Even if people take the train, they can circle back. Or take this pathway. That's going to be a lot of people on that small path, though. We're going to need to figure out another way to get people around. Could build into the mountain. However, our go-kart is in there, but we could probably go a little further this direction than swing back over here. So we got it. Okay, let's get uh, our pathways built then. Doesn't look pretty, does it? I'm not very good at stations, but we'll get that done at some point. Okay, that actually turned out nice. Proud of that. You subscribe? Well, if you click that subscribe button, your name should pop up here on the screen. So if you want to subscribe, do so now. Name pops up, gives you a shout out, and that's really cool. For those of you dropping super chats, appreciate that support. Thank you very much for all your greatness. Appreciate that. You're all wonderful. And uh, welcome to all of our new uh, subscribers and such who've joined us recently. Appreciate your support. Right, let's finish the queue. Boom. Let's finish the path. I know I've been saying I was going to do different paths too. But we keep we keep coming back to these ones, don't we? All right, Bob's Bumpers is open for business. Let's see what happens. Also, I don't know how to uh, ride the cart, so I guess we have to just wait until people come over. Yeah, there's a few challenges. I mean, there's a there's a tunnel. There's a little bridge section, which is that is weird, but whatever. This is my first uh, learning experience. It right, looks like we got more theft in the park. Let's keep higher on security. We just need more cameras, but I just haven't stopped to do that. Okay. There we go, we got a few riders. Let's ride this thing. Let's ride along with somebody. We'll take this red car here. Come on over. There we go. Perfect. Now we got... Oh, we're in the number one car. Sweet. That means we automatically won. Nobody's wearing helmets. That is going to be a liability. Nobody has helmets on. You know how big of a problem that is? Okay, let's let's go into hide mode. Wait a minute. Before we do that, let me pause here. How many laps can these people do? Two laps. Really, you can't do more than two laps? Oh, maybe I have to close it to briefly change. Two, two seems like the appropriate number of laps. For that, oh wait, what is the, is it cost? Oh, five dollars. Let's just do it's it's new, so let's just do two fifty. Just, just a little extra money on the side. All right, there we go. That's our retirement money, yo. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on the coaster again or the uh, the track. Okay, let's see how the race goes. All right. Alright, and the lawnmowers are away. Jeez, man. Hey, subscriber shout out. All that turning was totally unnecessary. He could have shot right down the center. Losing him a little bit of time. Dude, that's kind of cool. All right, second lap. Are we going to be in first place? I have no idea. Someone could pass us. This guy knows what he's doing, though. Oh, dude, I like how the uh, the lo the flume and the uh, cocart kind of take the same path under the under the mountain. Watch out with the train, Jesus. Wow. Hey, we won. Yay. Oh, that's fi final lap. Okay. Nice. Well, that was cool. 
Not too, like, super crazy or anything like that, but I mean, you know. How many cars are on that thing, anyway? Uh, is it, uh... Oh, it's 12? Really? Wow, that's a lot of cars. wonder if you can make that longer. Ooh, look at everybody. Everybody wants on. Oh, it's going to be a while for this. Okay, let's add the decorations back. Put some uh, trees down and some rocks. Not too bad, actually. That coat... The go-kart uh, track length is probably about where you want it because look at that line and they're gonna go across that a few times so that that you know that's a that's a pretty good length and a pretty good speed and everything's pretty good there they're pretty good carts they're pretty good carts indeed all right we've already named it put some rocks in there too we'll decorate it a little bit more later we'll just leave it as is for now do a very bad job of decorating stations we're almost up to two hundred thousand dollars in this game i can't believe it and look at all the people at the uh at the monorail Ooh, the mon ooh. Monorails are actually getting packed. Oh, here comes another one. So what was the number again? 82 or 83 people that they can take each time? We might need to get another monorail. Because we got we got needs. Could probably build our other station here and get these uh, rides up and running. I kind of want to put down one more, though. You know, actually, if we pull the pirate ride out of here and put in the hey, ferris wheel shout out cornelius thanks for subbing let's go ahead and put down our roller coaster or our, uh, ferris wheel let's see how big that thing would be oh dude that's perfect right there that's like the perfect spot for this thing yeah there's just more to look at if you look at the park wow you get you get the whole park to look at yeah we'll add the lights in the cave later all right let's go ahead and move some rides all right, we're going to go ahead and shut this one down. Hey, sorry, folks, shutting it down. All right, thanks. After a million years, we're finally moving this thing to a more appropriate home in Pirate Cove. Pirate Pirate Cove, I think that's fine. That's a good name for it. And we'll put it over here by where we're going to put the food court. But we'll get that up and running a little bit. Mm, hey, Pinto. All right, we're going to move this ride out of here. It's been there for a million years. It's a tragedy to move it, but also the uh, Ferris wheel is a much better fit. Uh, oops. Oops. Okay, I think we got ourselves some space for the Ferris wheel. So that gives us a new ride here, and that gives us a new ride on the other side of the park. Oh, we need a little bit more room. Oh, this thing is way too big. This thing is like a Ferris wheel times two, though. I mean, it's I think it's like it's got it, it's like got two stories or something. It's weird. I think we might need to move the rocks out of the way. I'm not sure. Oh, underground ghost train. That would be cool. Problem with the underground trains, though, is that if we build that, it's not very fun for the viewers because we don't get to see it really being built. It's not fun for us to, like, watch because you'll, you'll never be able to see it running. Completely underground rides are probably, they're cool, but, you know, I'm already bored of the idea of talking about it, just because I wouldn't be able to see it. It's a good idea, though. At least it would probably raise the uh, enjoyment factor. Okay, I think we've moved most of the trees out of the way. Now we just need to level off the land. There might still be something blocking us. Uh, what is it exactly? A couple more trees? Now let's just delete them. Come on, Ferris wheel. You're being mean. Just go, go down. Fit. 
Do do the thing. Just do the thing. Okay. I think we just need to move these rocks back a little bit. Oh, you like the stream? Well, thank you very much, Ace. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, you can go ahead and let me know you'd want to see more by clicking hey, that like button. Shout out. In fact, instead of coming into every single stream and just uh, constantly copy and pasting the same message about play, fill in the blank game, all you got to do is whenever I play that game, just hit the like button and I'll know. And, you know, the more views that things get, obviously that's something you guys like. If I'm running an Italian restaurant and I'm making a lasagna, but I'm also making spaghetti, no one buys the lasagna, but they go insane for the spaghetti, then we're going to have more spaghetti. That's just the way economics works. Or at least in this terms, YouTube creation. I want to create content that you guys watch. That's the best way to determine. Okay, let's put down our Ferris wheel for like the 20th time. Why is this... Alright, now you're just being a pain. Now you're just... Now you're just purposely being rude. I think it's the sides of the wheel that are just being blocked by trees and stuff. So, alright, time to uh, deforestation. I was trying to be nice, trying to work with the trees, but now they, they want to be rude. So let's get rid of everything. Hey, subscriber shout out. Ashley Green, welcome. Okay. All right, if I can't put this thing down now, I'm gonna, I'm claiming like, hacks. All right, seriously, hacks. Wait, actually that tree's in the way. What does this ride need for clearance? Does it need clearance on either side too? God. Now I kind of regret moving the uh, pirate thing. Oh, there we go, finally. Alright, finally. We're done. So let's put the entrance over here. Because we know this is going to be a pretty long line. Exit can literally be right there. And connect entrance. Let's go with that traditional blue. I like that. Fantastic. All right. Unfortunately, we had to like bulldoze half the forest to fit it in, but now we can scoot things back a little bit more. Not too bad. Now that forest is looking thick. Thick. It's really looking thick. Nice. You had to make sure there was 10 feet of clearance around the wheel. Oh, so like... What you had to like how would you measure like tree branches and stuff though? Yeah, actually look at how it's probably for the best too, because if the trees are too close, nobody's gonna be able to see anything. I feel bad I deleted those rocks. They looked awesome there. Boom. Uh, when is Farm Sim next? Asked Jay Blake. Lock. Uh, it is going to be sometime in the future because we haven't recorded anything. I've just been into other games and people have been busy, so we haven't forgotten. It'll come back sometime soon, though. It'll be a while, but it'll be this year. Thanks for your patience. Well. Now the ferris wheel looks great, and I love how the coaster goes around it. That is lit. That is lit. All oh, right, uh, we're charging 450. Let's charge a dollar. Actually, screw it. Let's make it free. Okay. Bye, Josiah. 
One is good, though. Don't need to do two. Just one high is good. Alright, we're just planning out the future of our rides over here. And I really think we've got some impressive rides. Speaking of which, we got research that must be done. Yes. What is the Oh no, a standing roller coaster? Oh no. Nope. Nope. I wouldn't ride that. The big wheel. What? Finally the f the fair the regular Ferris wheel finally comes down. Come on now. Unlimited power. We now finally have the regular, the regular Ferris wheel. Of all the wheels to unlock, we finally unlocked the regular one. Wait, what is this? Cheroplane? What is this? Quote lit. Yes, everything is qu quite lit. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's right. This is one of these rides that kind of lifts up and then it uh, swings you underneath. Oh, this would be perfect for like Pirate Cove. You know, all that travel. It's supposed to have a travel theme to it. This is going to be my greatest challenge ever because I want to try to fit as many businesses and paths into a tight space. And that's what that's what makes you the most money because when people only have to walk a little distance from here to there to the next ride they want to go on, it makes big old money. Because people can go on their rides, they can grab their food, hey, subscriber shout out. they can do what they're supposed to do. I think we're gonna have to make the food court over here. We might modify the uh, water a little bit to be more uh, either close. I don't. Know. We'll modify the land a bit there. Love how it looks like it's down by a harbor. Be interesting too if people design more maps. Like for example, uh, staff members can't find a building with a space. Increase capacity. Ooh, we need more staff buildings. All right, fair enough. It's been a long time since we built one of those, so it's a good point probably have to build another one over here. Hmm. Staff building there, here, and here. Might be a good idea to build one over here somewhere. Wow, there's so many cool little rides. I want all the classic rides. Over. I like these little classic rides here next to the food court. It's a real cool family area. It's going to be nice. Food court in the mountain, but again, we couldn't see it. It would be cool, but you won't be able to see anything. Oh. So go-karts are probably like our most successful thing right now because there is a crazy line for that. That must have just broke down. Alright, we're almost to $200,000. That's awesome. Let's take a look at coasters again. God, we have so many coasters, man. Coasters, 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 coasters. Hey, subscriber shout out. Uh, Deshtan, thanks for subscribing. We can build some more junior coasters. Oh, maybe we should build one for the pirate park. Is there like a cool, like, pirate themed coaster we could build? There's the dragon. Yeah, I feel like building like small scale again. What was that? Did you see that? Is this supposed to be a bird? Hey, are you subscriber are shout you out. kidding? Wait, what? What? How does this work? Free swing. Oh my! G I would I would n I would not trust myself building this coaster. No way. Don't trust myself there. All right, uh, let's see. Well, we built our wonderful monorail. It could be time to build another station over here. If we do that, though, we're going to have to sh shut down the monorail. And those are going like crazy. Monorails were like the best thing we ever built. It's even better than the train. I can't believe nobody goes on this train, though. It's like, dude, this train over here... We need more people on that train. Everyone's at one train. Hmm. I 
Uh, we're going to City Skylines tonight. I'm going to a winter world. We're going to build uh, one last little snowy city. See how it goes. Which is a good opportunity to drop super chats as well. Now that we're building a new city, you guys can uh, pick up. And I'm going to put it on the workshop too. So uh, there will be plenty of people download. I think over like 200 people downloaded our new one. Our first city. So a lot of people will download. Look at that, man. Trains just flying right into the station. Beautiful. Okay, go-karts built. Pirate Cove's looking decent. Decent start to Pirate Cove. Let's build a little bit of a steeper hill here. Yeah, let's build a cliff. One thing I wanted to do, too, with this log flume is actually have it come down lower to the water and then swing back. There's a conveyor belt that needs to go up anyway, so... We may as well do it at some point. Yeah. Get this tree out of here. No, I don't have mass transit for city skylines. I do want to build with the tram, though. But when we start tonight, we definitely won't be... We're, we're starting with the new city, so we won't... Won't need mass transit at the start of this new new town. That looks good. Making more space for future buildings. Good. Monorail station. That's going to go there. Let me just check something quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, subscriber shout out. <coughs> I mean, thanks for subbing. Really looking forward to um to uh to City Skylines today. At least the new Snow City. I've never built a Snow City. I know that you need to like boil water and keep people warm. And there's road works to it as well. You have to like plow roads. There's a lot more to it than a regular city. Hey, subscriber shout out. Can I make a go kart in the canyon that goes up the other end? Yeah, you can do that. But um, I'd have to get. The problem is, if I build a go kart over here now, the problem is that people have to get over there. So we have to build a station. We have to build more than one ride to get people interested. Otherwise, it's like taking a train to one side of the park to go on one ride, and then taking a train to go to the other. And it's just people, people, they kind of they don't want to do that. All right, let's start connecting some of these rides. Pirate Cove here is going to look pretty nice. Let's, uh, how do you do this? Place entrance, okay. Place our entrance here. And our exit here. All right, Pirate Cove's got to be like Sandstone or wood. Hey, subscriber shout out. Let's do wooden planks like this. Chaos, thanks for something. Way too close to the ships. To the trains.
All right, let's start opening up Pirate Cove. I don't really like that queue, but whatever. They can sue me. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, I mean, it's totally possible to build a go-kart in there. The only reason I'm not is because sometimes I don't build things because it'd be, it'd be really cool to build something, but then it sucks when people don't go there because, you know, <laughs> it's, it's far away. For example, this roller coaster... They're barely going on it because they gotta go. They gotta go a long distance. There's people on the roller coaster. It is running from time to time, but uh, people seem to enjoy the train. I mean, we're making tons of money in this park, so there's no way, just because one roller coaster is not populated, that we're like failing. I mean, our our money is now at two hundred eleven thousand dollars. I mean, that's an insane amount of money for a park that is kind of like, well, it, it's it's a pretty big park. That's that's a pretty big park. Uh, let's build the path here. The exit over here. Let's build the wooden planks over here. Um, that's interesting. We can't connect there. What? What if I go a little... Uh... Oh no. Game. Come on. Look at all these things you have to put up with sometimes. Like, to put down a queue, I, I gotta do these like crazy things. There. I made it a little longer. Hmm, people are actually coming over. No one's riding it yet, but alright. Ah, oh, we could build a bridge that goes across over here too, couldn't we? You know, I need like a chairlift or something to go across. I definitely need to like have a bridge here, but that might be too far. Wow, that music though. All right. Well, the Pirate Cove's kind of moving up now. Okay, let's get this ride going. All right. So that's the entrance, huh? Okay. My hands are not anywhere on the mouse. It is just going insane. Okay, and great. Perfect. That was strange. Alright, and then we need to build the exit, so that's under... Wait, where is that under? Well, this is a classic ride now, so it's going to br bring over a lot of people. How did I just build the end of it, though? Hmm... Oh, hi, by the way, chat. How you all doing today? Good to see you. Chaos Studio, Jack, Garrett, uh, INL, and everyone else in here. What's up, Bruce and Kambe, and uh, also uh, Glenda. Good to see you all here. Hi, active members of the chat. Nice to have you with us here today. Shout-outs to all of you being super active in our wonderful chat, so thank you for being a part of our stream. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Your name should pop up here. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you click the like button to let me know you'd like to see more of this content. It's a pleasure to have you all with us here today. So it is... Uh, it's like our 7th, 10th episode. Man, we've been building on this thing for quite some time. It's, it's been a long time. So we're doing good things here. Alright, let's move the exit. Alright, what's up, Cameron? 
Yeah, snow. Oh, Snowfall is the second best DLC. Good. I'm hey, looking forward to shout out. playing some DLCs. What's up, Emerson? There we go. Uh, let's make this. There we go. All right, we are good to go. Yeah, randomly saying a game's name multiple times in chat is not gonna not gonna get me to play it. Sorry, because right now we're playing a uh, Planet Coaster, and just mentioning other games and other titles is just distracting to the current stream. So that's why we try to stay focused on what we're doing right now. All right, now we should be able to build our entrance. I think we'll keep with the pirate theme. It seems to be going quite well. Can I make my city look like San Francisco? Well, probably not, because San Francisco doesn't like have snow. All right, Pirate uh, Bay is open. Pirate Cove, Pirate Bay, Pirate World, Pirate Planet. Ooh, that's a good name. Pirate Planet. Okay, we're at $218,000. I think we've made, like, all the monies. The uh, Ferris wheel is nice. I think we need to build another Ferris wheel. We just need to make Pirate Cove also look a little bit more uh, dank and lit. Okay. Well, to bring over some more people, I think we need to shut down the monorail. Actually, this might allow us to transport more people. Alright, before we do that, let's go ahead and save the park where we're at. We didn't do any too too many major me restorations, I think. Okay, we're gonna s close this down. People are gonna be mad, but we gotta we gotta get her fixed. Edit the track starting here. Nope, didn't want you going that way. Go this way. There we go. Uh, people should be getting off which side of the coaster or monorail. I don't remember. Oops. Station. I think it's this side. We want them getting off on the other side. I think that fits a full car. Okay, I think we're good. That's really nice. Do I know the wood's going the same way? Yeah, it's got a pattern to it. That's ah, just piratey. Pirate themed. Okay, let's go for... How do I build this? Station 110. We're going to build an entrance over here. Ah, yes. Alright, I, I got you. I know what we're going to do. Exit. I know I know what our plan is. I got it. We good. Really? You're obstructed? Please. Come oh, on, this game's pathing sucks, man. Come on, I should be able to go this way and then down.
You can't even build like a, you know, like a decent uh, set of stairs like you would find in an office building or something like that, you know? What's obstructing here? What, the supports? Like, you can build through those, man. Wow, that's ridiculous. It can remove it when it's a stair, but it can't remove it when it's flat. That, that's nonsensical. That's not making sense. Well, we can call Pirate Cove whatever we want, really. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll just do this. There we go. Well, don't fall down those stairs. Holy crap. Game, just connect. It has every perfect opportunity to connect now. Now it just wants to be. Now it just wants to be a pain. God, I don't like these giant. These giant stairwells coming out of here. All right, forget this. Perfect. All right, now let's build the exit, which is going to have to be here. This should bring in a lot more uh, passengers now. Doing good there, Peter. Thanks for asking. Right, can't turn away from it, but now I can turn into it. Wow, the... The rules of the pass are horrible, man. I really don't really don't like them them rules. Game. I'd like you to build a flat section. There we go. Thank you. What's obstructed now? Justice or what? Come on now. There's nothing... Obstruct, there's nothing there! Dude, there's nothing even there to obstruct. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that's true. I, I did obstruct oxygen, I guess. Because we have to have uh, we have to have thirty thousand feet above the pathway below us. Why do paths have to do that? This is the most frustrating part of this game. I can't can't build straight. That's obstruction. Can't can't build stairs down. That's obstruction. Oh man, I hate the paths in this game.
They're so convoluted and messy. Look at that. Ugh. The stairs didn't have to look that way. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's at least decent. Okay. Oh, we also have to charge station one ten zero. All right, we got this. I, I just hate the pass. If you're trying to build something more than like ten meters off the ground, it's uh, it's gonna be a bad time. But we're good. All right, are we connected on the top? Okay, we're good. Both lanes are good. All right. So again, <clears throat> before we're done with this park, I'm either going to bury everything in trees and hide it, or we're going to build some nice stations. We'll build nice stations, then we got to build these paths, because some of these paths are just gross. Wow, look at the people. <gasps> Wait a minute, we need a third train. I want three trains for now. Four will be too many. Okay, now we're reopened again. Let's speed up time. So that way these rides get a little bit of something going on. Wow, look at the computer just chugging now. That's a monster computer, but there's a lot of things going on animation-wise. Oh, there we go. People are taking the monorail again. Hey, subscriber shout out. Michelle Robbins, thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Go kart is good. Oh, look at that! Our new our new train is the exact perfect length for the station. Wonderful. Hey, subscriber shout out, Jake Ivan. Welcome. There we go. Ah, just search Google, Peter. I'm sure there's like a hot link or something out there to download it. Oh, also, we forgot to turn on Do Not Block Station. And go. Come on, man. We turned off Do Not Block Station. Go. There you go. Okay, so now we got another monorail stop for this side, which means we can supply Future World and Pirate Cove with passengers. Train station there, and then I think if we're going to build... I probably might, might curve this down a little bit more here, and then we'll build the station maybe further down this way, that kind of thing. Well, what about we go on some coasters, folks? We got about we got about a half hour here to, to ride some coasters. What do you guys think? What, what do you guys want to go on first? You guys get to pick. Which which coaster looks the coolest? Uh, we've got our uh, just describe it the the red one in the mountain, the giant orange one over here, the log log flume one, log flume two, the boat ride, the the roller coaster, something like that. Oh, we got plenty of mechanics. We just got plenty of rides. What do you guys want to go on? What hey, do you think? Subscriber shout out. Bioactive. Thanks for subbing. The monorail? We could definitely do the monorail. The monorail might be a good start. Let's quickly go on the monorail while we decide. Let's actually do that. All right, you guys go crazy. Spam chat with whatever you think would be a good thing to start with, and we'll take it from there. And then we'll we'll do one lap around the uh, we'll do one lap around the park. Wait, this is what it plays inside? It's like... Oh wow, totally appropriate. Hey, 
subscriber shout out. Alright, I think we're going to go on the go-karts first, so let's get to the next station, and then we're going to go see go-karts. Then we'll go on the red one in the mountain. Uh, Peter Watson, just Google it, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I use, so just Google the most recent version of DirectX. All right, everyone's coming on. As soon as we get to the next station, we'll go on go-karts, then we'll go on the big red one, Radical Rocket Scientist. Thank you very much for subscribing. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. That would be both a dank and lit of you. And our city that we're building tonight in City Skylines is going to be called, uh, I think it's going to be called Iceberg. Oh, yes. Eduardo, welcome. All right. <laughs> Dude, that monorail is quick, man. Okay, let's take a look at the lines of the monorail. I'm hoping that the added train doesn't slow things hey, down. Subscriber shout out. We'll see you in a little while. Victor, welcome aboard. Okay, go kart time. Um, hey, subscriber oh shout out. These need pretty good reviews. Looks like this race is coming to an end. So we'll catch it when it starts up again. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it broken? Oh, is this doing maintenance? Okay. All right. Hey, subscriber shout out. Let's find a blue car. No blue? Oh, let's pick like a green one. Oh, this is alright. Alright, let's let's ride this one now. We just need to wait till everybody comes in and then we're gonna go on the roller coasters and the log flumes hey, and stuff. Subscriber shout out. Xander, thanks for subbing. We got a lot of rides to ride, man. Come on, baby. Man, it's taking forever. Let's go. Come on. This is this is truly my favorite game now. I love this. But then I feel like I'll switch back to City Skylines and say that that's my favorite. Especially now that we're going to play in the snow. Are right, we waiting for go-kart? Wow, he's coming back again for another inspection? Dude, this race takes forever to get started. No wonder the line is long. Oh, you guys wanted the go go karts. Let's take for is this is has this broken down? I don't I don't think people would. Oh, it's been broken down. So why are people still in the carts then? Geez, seriously? Okay, now we can race. Well, now they can get out. Okay, now we gotta wait again. It does seem like that every time we go to race in a race car. There always seems to be a or a roller coaster or whatever. There's always a breakdown. 
Okay, just give it a second. We'll wait for more people to come over. Hey, subscriber shout out. Driscoll, thanks for subbing. Let's charge it. Let's charge. Alright, fine. Free. There we go. We have 7,000 people in the park, dude. Did two people just go to the same car? Alright, we got two more people before we can race. Oh, never mind. I guess we're leaving one car behind. Okay, here goes the go-kart, and then we'll go on the red uh, roller coaster next. Here we go. Subscriber shout out. We'll put lighting in the cave for sure. Kyle Gamer, thanks for subscribing. Oh, this person should probably keep their hands on the wheel and quit whipping that hand up like that. Hey, subscriber shout out. Andrew, thanks for seven. Okay, time to go on another coaster. We're gonna go on the red one now. So before we uh, before we leave here today, we're riding on all the big O rides. I'm just gonna make sure I save everything to make sure our station is saved for the monorail. Okay, it's saving. Good. Um, right over here. Wait until it goes out. Oh, it's broke. Oh, of course, broken down. Yes. Would you imagine that? Every ride. How many techs do we have? I hired a few more. It just doesn't seem like we could ever have enough, though. But they're getting things repaired. We just have so many rides that they're always hey, going to constantly be breaking out. down. Moons of Lego, thanks for subbing. We'll have to build some more workstations for our workers, too. We've got quite a few employees. But that's a task for another day. We're riding roller coasters now. Operation Fun Seas. Come on, let's get some people on the coaster. Let's go. All right, once the coaster's full, we can go on that. Yeah, the rides seem to be breaking down in time, but we're doing just, just fine. What? Raptor what? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. We got a coaster leaving the station. There we go. Now, on this one, I know we need to sit back a little bit. All right, enjoy the ride. Keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle all the time. Bop, bop, bop.
All right, another good ride. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's see. Love the train is the first car, yeah. I think we should do our... Uh, oh, let's do the boat. Let's do the boat coaster. Let's do the boat coaster. Yeah. That's going to be pretty sweet. Okay, we're going to do the boat coaster. And then there's only like... We could probably pick which log flume to do, but let's do faster rides. We'll do we'll pick which log flume to do at the end. You guys want to see the new log flume or the old log flume? The new one doesn't have as many decorations, but it's probably cooler. But the old one's got some pretty sweet drops. So what do you think? New new log flume or old log flume? What do you think, chat? Huh? What do you what do you guys think? Alright, here we go. Well, I see new and old. I can't I can't tell oh old? Okay, we'll go on the old one then. Okay, here we go. Go boat coaster! Woo! I'm not seeing a lot of people with their hands up in chat. Are you guys not enjoying these rides? I'm not. I'm not seeing a lot of hands up. Oh, now's a good time. Woo! Well, that's like the perfect length, dude. That just comes right onto that conveyor belt, just smoothly, and then just right back onto the track. That's lit. There we go. This boat coaster turned out really cool. I didn't even like... I wish it had more boat sections though like this, but... I think it's actually our most exciting ride with the least amount of nausea or anything else. So that's pretty important. Okay, let's do another coaster. Let's do our big o' orange coaster, Z's Destruction. Let's do that one. preview of what's to come. There's no, uh, no, there's no, uh, sound or anything like that. Uh, no, Cooper, on that ride we didn't need those, uh, types of, uh, banking because we were going at such a speed that it, uh, didn't increase fear or anything like that, so it was, it was perfectly balanced. It just so happened to work out that way. The fear is probably the lowest of any of our coasters. Woo! Perfect. Okay, let's do another one. Let's see. All right, you guys wanted the old log flume. Is there any other coasters that we could go on before we do the old flume? Eh, let's go on the old flume. Let's go on the old flume right now. We need to find a car right away, though, to get on. That's the perfect one. Let's just see if we can find a boat that's not uh, hasn't yet left. Uh-oh. Oh, don't want to spoil any of the drops. Oh, here we go. Perfect. 
All right, everybody, welcome to Lock Flume. Keep your hand feet inside vehicle at all time. Not responsible for loss of snow environment, dismemberment, or death. Now, chat, you guys have been really, really off the ball today. We've got a serious problem, and I need your help. You guys have not been spamming that lowercase LOL, which means you're throwing your hands up at these jumps. This ride has three big drops. we got to see those LOLs at every drop. So, if you guys want to practice that LOL, make sure it's lowercase. Throw those hands up. And then we're going to go right into uh, our first couple of drops. So you guys better get ready. I feel there's a drop coming up pretty soon. Get ready with those LOLs. I'm not going to say win, chat. Let's just see if you're paying attention. Let me get the mouse out of the way. All right, there's a drop coming up somewhere. It's just up to you guys to find it. Here it comes. It's coming. There's going to be three of them. There we go. Chat's what? Chat's waking up. There we go. All right, chat. We got you. All right, you're still alive. Oh, you haven't seen the river raft ride? Oh, let's go on that one next. Yeah, people love this log flume, though. We can do the river raft uh, next. Hey, subscriber shout out. Or next time. Or uh, maybe even the, the monorail. Max Shelby, welcome aboard. Uh-oh. What is this? Woo! There we go. Two more big drops, chat. We got two more coming up. Where are they going to be? So, uh, Andrew Bocher, maybe stop spamming chat repeatedly with unrelated content. Right now, when you came into this live stream, we are playing this particular game. And uh, on a daily basis, of the 310,000 different viewers that we have, they all want something different, and they want it now. That's the type of world we live in. So, unfortunately, I'm not able to do what you'd like me to do at this very moment. If you'd like to see something on the channel, the key is to, when I do something you do like, is to support it like crazy. Always hit the like button, tweet it out to a friend, share it with everyone on Steam. But not everybody does that. So if you want to see something, instead of just coming into chat and just say, do GTA, wins Roblox, you should play, win is Fortnite. Instead of that, whenever I happen to do play those things... You just be super aggressive and dedicated to supporting the stream of when we're playing that particular content or of that video, and that is the best way to get more of that content. But dropping into a stream where we happen to be playing Monster Jam 95 and coming in and asking for uh, SpongeBob, that's uh, it's probably not going to happen. Now, let's all get those LOLs going because this is, this is going to be a big wet drop. Let's go. Here we go. Woo! There we go. It's like the perfect length for that splashdown, and it's just as big. In fact, that, if you looked back there, the roller coaster actually goes up over the top of that splashdown, so there is occasions where the log flume will hit the roller coaster. So people on the people on the roller coaster have a chance of getting wet. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Anonymous, thanks for subscribing too. Okay. 
So now we've got one big last drop coming up, chat. And we have so many rides at this park, but there's no way we could ride them all. we still got the log flume to go on. That's on the other side of the park. We still have the river raft ride to go on. Uh, we've got uh, two mini coasters to go on as well. Uh, is this F15 FPS? Um, I don't think so. I think the game... I don't know, actually. It might be OBS. Uh, let, me, let me look. Well, I'm not dropping any frames, and it says it's at 60 frames a second, so... So Max Shelby says, Awesome Park, can you put your save somewhere? Absolutely, Max. What I want to do is, at the end of me playing this stream, not, not today, but when I'm done with kind of this park, I'm going to upload it to the Steam Workshop. And I also have a city out there for City Skylines, if anyone plays. It's called Lit Dankville. So if you want to go look for Lit Dankville, or just look for Raptor under City Skylines, you'll find that. So go download my city. And then I'm going to be starting a new city in City Skylines here in about maybe an hour and a half or so. But for now, we got the biggest, coolest drop in Planet Coaster history coming up. Here it comes. Get those LOLs ready. There's 158 people in chat right now, and I had better see 158 different people spamming that LOL. Let's do a group effort. This is going to be awesome. Get your hands up. This is going to be big. Here we go. Let's see it. Come on, everybody. Spam like crazy. You can do it. Woo! This is going to be big. This is the biggest, coolest drop. This is awesome. Here it comes. Woo! Yeah, man. That is the best one ever, dude. You come out of a cliff. You come out of a hill through some mist down into the big uh, pool of water down there. Look at that. This is awesome. And you have the potential of splashing that coaster, too. There we go. That's some group participation, baby. You guys are fantastic. All right. <clears throat> Well, the only thing left in that uh, log flume ride is to just basically come back to the station, so there wasn't too much left in that one. Hey, subscriber shout out. RLR Racing, thank you very much for subscribing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Whoa, monthly profit. Whoa, we've finished a challenge? Oh, oh, monthly profit from rides of 500 bucks. Well, that's probably going to be easy to do. Uh, you guys are fantastic. You guys are absolutely amazing. Okay. So, uh, oh, uh, is anybody going to be around? Anybody want to say me or raise their hand or anything? If you are, are you guys going to be around later for the City Skyline stream in about? Um, I'm going to start it in about an hour and a half. I was thinking about starting that one in about an hour and a half. Is anybody going to be around? For uh, I'm going to do a whole new city on a frozen thing. Anybody who drops super chats, I'm going to name ho houses after you. You can buy a home, uh, parks, that kind of thing. People always drop super chat, so I might as well get back to the chat by like labeling a park after you guys or a road. Get a road named after you or a big big old building, that kind of thing. Skyscraper, that kind of thing. Okay. Well, here's here's the key. When I stream later today, if you guys come into the stream and you were from this stream, I'm gonna ask you for the secret code word. And that is going to be orange roller coaster. So when I say, oh, hey, who is here? What's that keyword from the earlier stream? You guys say, orange roller coaster. And you guys you guys will know what's up. You guys will know. All right, now, this this park is just absolutely amazing. I love this park. I'm going to get something ready here for now. All right, now, chat, I also need some help, too, by the way, from everyone. You guys, you guys are going to hey, be there? Excellent. Shout out. That's fantastic. Sebastian, thank you for subscribing. All right, I need your guys' help with something real quick before we uh, before we wrap up planet coaster and go over to city skylines i just need you guys to do one big big old crazy million dollar well it's not it's not that crazy but uh it, it means a million dollars to me uh let me just do something here quickly all right what i'd like you all to do if you haven't already is um i've released a new video for uh now a lot of people during this stream were asking about um me playing war game red dragon if you haven't checked out that game before it's an older game but i did a playthrough of it today so Go ahead and swing into this video and blow up that like button on that video. And uh, just say Orange Roller Coaster in the comment section too. And I'm going to heart your comments. So go to that video right now. Click on that link. Click the like button. And then just type in uh, Orange Roller Coaster. And I'm going to like heart your comment too. And watch the full video. It's a very cool game. Uh, it ha there's a uh, thing that has to do with uh, the campaign has to do with invading out. North Korea in 1992. It's all fictional stuff. But, you know, given the current climate, it's... Uh, relevant to that and it's a very cool game so click that link go hit that like button and i will be back around for some more uh we're going to be playing some city skylines in a little bit 
So again, click that link and uh, show your love and type that orange roller coaster. I'm going to heart your comment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back in like 10 minutes and start hearting those comments. So if you haven't already, make sure you, uh, make sure you guys are there showing your support. All right. Thank you, everyone, for all your, uh, your support. I'll be back in about an hour and a half for City Skylines. And thank you, everyone, for clicking that link and blowing up that like button and uh, all your orange roller coasters. Makes me hungry for an orange now, so that's probably what I'm going to go have. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Thank you for your support. Bye, everyone. Bye. Enjoy the park.